This is tutorial number 50, and it covers how to use the Stiffener feature within Katia V5. To start off, open up tutorial part number 50, which is located on the DVD. Now the Stiffener feature is found in the toolbox over here, or if you go to Insert, Sketch Base Features, Stiffener. Now to use the Stiffener, all you need is one profile, uh, or one line, that's opened, and from that you're able to make a Stiffener. So what we're going to be doing is creating a line along here and extruding it across. So to start off, let's click this face here and we'll click sketch. Now when you're making it, when you're drawing these uh, lines in here, there's two different ways to do it. You can go from line to line, touching the points there, or you can do it inside the box without touching any of the lines. So this is two different ways of making a stiffener. The first one we're going to make is just draw lines that are inside this box, not touching the edges. So let's just rotate it around a bit and just draw a little line just like that in there. And if you look on the side, you can see that it's inside the box. Now go back up, click Stiffener, and we're going to be using the uh, from side mode. You're going to be able to use the from top mode when you click on the points to points. So if we zoom in, what this is going to let us do is we're able to, with a thicken, slowly bring that sketch out. Now you'll notice that our sketch is only in here, but what this is going to do uh, with the stiffener is it automatically extends it out to the edges and kind of cleans everything up for you. So let's bring this out 20, and we'll click OK, and the stiffeners come out 20 millimeters. Now let's double click on the sketch, and let's just move this around. So let's drag this guy more over to here, and let's see what our result is. And you can see that now our stiffener has moved over also. Now let's delete this stiffener. And we're going to do it the other way that I was talking about. So let's click this face, click sketch. Now click this face and we'll uh, project the edges, turn them into construction lines, and now we'll sketch from point to point. So we'll do one from this point along here to a point along there. Now let's put a little angle in there so we can play with it after. So we have an angle about 30 degrees. So let's put in 30 and let's go back up and let's click the stiffener. And from this one you can use the from side or you can use from top. So right now on the from side, we're making exactly the same one that we had before. From top, we're going to make one that's going to have a hollow opening in it. So let's click OK. And let's click on the surface here. And we'll sketch out quickly a rectangle and just cut this little bit out just so you can see the gap in there. So if you can see in the back there, you have a gap, and that's what uh, using the from top compared to the side is there. And let's go back. Now let's make the stiffener again using this point to point, and we're going to use the from side. So this is just like the other one. We're just going to extend it out 25, click OK, and we'll edit this sketch, change the angle to about 60. And because it was outside, it's not going to uh, work, so let's go back into it, put it to 45, and just bring it in. And it should work this time. And it does. So you're able to play around with a stiffener like that. Now let's do one that's on the top. So let's click this top surface here. Click Sketch. Now we'll click this face here, project it out, and turn it into uh, construction lines, and let's just draw a little jagged line across. And we'll go back up, and we're going to create a stiffener from here. Now click OK, and click from top. So now we're able to create the stiffener from the top in this mode. So let's bring this down to about 5 millimeters for the thickness. Click OK. And now we've made a stiffener in here for about 5 mils. So what the stiffener does is we're allowed to just use one sketch, one sketch line, and you're able to create kind of like a stiffener inside the part 
that adds like ribs and whatnot. Now we're gonna make one more from here. So let's just double click on the sketch and let's delete these lines and let's just try to make an organic one. So we'll use the spline and just make one with a few curves. And we'll go back up and we've created a stiffener with those curves. So like I was saying, with those lines, uh, all you need is one line that's open, not a closed profile. And then you have to toggle between the from side and from top to get the uh, results that you want. So by doing this, you're able to create stiffeners inside parts quickly and easily just from a single line. And that concludes our tutorial on how to use the stiffener feature within Katia V5.